Hi, Arik here from Cycle Maintenance Academy. If you notice that the hoods on your Shimano hydraulic or DI2 drop bar levers are showing signs of wear, it might be time to consider replacing them. While there are plenty of videos out there demonstrating how to quickly replace rubber covers on non-DI2 and non-hydraulic STI levers, the same trick might not be applicable to DI2 and hydraulic levers. Due to their complexity, the DI2 and hydraulic levers have slightly different shapes making it extremely challenging to replace the hoods without removing them from the handlebars. Attempting to force them on may result in damaging the lever or tearing the new hood. So, in today's video, I'll guide you through the correct method of replacing the hoods on these levers. It may seem more involved at first glance, but by following my tutorial, the process will be smooth and hassle-free. Alright, let's dive in. Tools you might need for the job. 8mm spanner Set of allen keys Utility knife Insulating tape Plug tool Shimano mineral oil Shimano bleed kit Shimano uses two port thread sizes on their drop bar hydraulic levers M5 and M7 for the older lever models such as Shimano Tiagra STRS405, 105 STRS505 and Ultegra STRS685, use the funnel unit for M5 screw. For any newer models, I listed them all below this video, use the funnel unit for the M7 screw. Robe covered or plastic lever. Disc brake pad spacer. Isopropyl alcohol Clean rug or paper towel Marker pen Gloves Safety glasses Preparation For non-DI2 levers, detach the gear cable from the derailleur. Pull the rubber cover forward. Remove the handlebar tape to the point where it passed the lever. Use a marker pen to mark the position of the lever on the handlebar. Remove the tape that holds the brake hose and gear cable or electric wire to the handlebars. Removing the old bracket cover. For non-DI2 STI levers, pull the gear cable out of the outer casing. Use an 8mm spanner to unscrew the flange flare nut. Grab the hose and pull it out of the lever. Use a 5mm allen key to unscrew the clamp band unit bolt. This will detach the lever from the handlebars. Spray some isopropyl alcohol inside the cover to make the removal easier. Peel the cover back from the front of the shifter. Fitting the new bracket cover. Have a look at your new bracket covers. There's a mark inside the cover that indicates whether it's for the left or right side. Apply isopropyl alcohol to the inside of the bracket cover to lubricate it. This will make the installation easier. Hold the top of the lever body, making sure you don't press the lever during the fitting process. Wrap the front part of the hood around the rear of the shifter and then slide it forward.
make sure that the protrusion on the bracket cover are inserted into the recesses in the bracket body. Screw the lever body onto the clamp band unit. Reconnect the brake hose. For non-DI2 models, feed the gear cable through the outer casing. And for DI2 models with electrical wires, reconnect the wire plug to the correct port. Use the insulating tape to attach the hose, the wire or the gear cable to the handlebars. Refit the handlebar tape. If you're not sure how to do this, I have a great video here on replacing a handlebar tape. Roll the rubber cover down and test the brake. If it feels spongy, then you might need to remove the trapped air from the lever. Removing the trapped air from the lever. Lift the cover to access the bleed port. Use a 2.5mm Allen key to remove the bleed screw and o-ring. Install the funnel with the oil stopper in the bleed port. Add some mineral oil to the funnel. Remove the oil stopper. Press the lever several times. You will start seeing air bubbles coming out into the funnel. While pressing the lever gently, tap the lever body and the hose to help remove trapped air. Once no bubbles show up, Fit the oil stopper into the funnel and remove the funnel. Refit the bleed screw with the o ring. Use isopropyl alcohol and a rag or paper towel to thoroughly clean the lever, removing any remaining traces of mineral oil. Roll the rubber cover down and test the brake again. If the brake still doesn't feel responsive, you might need to perform a bleeding process. My video tutorial here will guide you through the process of bleeding hydraulic brakes with dual control DI2 levers and non-DI2 levers. For non-DI2 levers it's time to reconnect the cable to the derailleur and adjust the gears. I have a great video tutorial here to help you with this task. And that's it! You have successfully replaced the bracket cover on your Shimano hydraulic and DI2 levers. Thanks for staying with me all the way to the end and don't forget to let me know in the comments below how you got on replacing hoods on your Shimano hydraulic and DI2 STI levers. If you want to support the channel then consider subscribing, liking the video and sharing it with your friends. And if you want to support even further then consider a small donation through the super thanks button below the video. Thanks very much and see you very soon!